You've probably already figured out that today I'm going to be doing some trenching, and you would be right. What I'm going to attempt to do is dig a new trench to bring a water line up to my new pool house, which is that way, I'll show you that in a minute, uh, which will also be a spurring off point to take water to my new shop building. main water distribution box where the water comes in from the street which goes that way and then heads off to the house that way then there's a drain line slash spare line there and that line right there heads off to the pool it also has a, a branch point in case I wanted to take water off from there but that elbow that turns down there heads off to the pool but I discovered there's a problem with that pipe is that it was laid in, not by me, but it was laid in with thin walled three quarter inch PVC. It's lasted all these years, but I don't think I want to count on it for the future years. So I'm digging here, and coming up this way, hugging this side of this uh, back road. This is the back access road behind the pool shop. And this area should look familiar to you because this is where I pulled the old pool house building from where it sits here in this blank spot to over there on the other side of the pool. <clears throat> so I have to trench from there all the way up to here. That stake right there marks the corner of the pool house. And we're gonna trench along here to bring it to this corner of where we'll plumb into the new pool house. Today, this is what concerns me, this great big rock right here. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to come this side or this side but before I even bother trenching down there, I'm gonna dig around here on either side and see can I get about two feet down coming past this big shelf of rock. Because if, if I can't do that, then I may need to veer off to the other side of the road here uh, and do something different. So that's job one. Now I don't expect that I'll need the big bucket today, but just in case, I brought it along and you're about to find out why I love this B expanded quick on backhoe connector so much. First, I'm going to start off, see if I can trench by this rock with this narrow bucket. Thanks to the quick on backhoe connector, this is a very easy task. The B expanded quick on backhoe connector comes with a linchpin, but I found out early on that it came off while digging, so I replaced it with a bolt and nylock nut, which has worked out very well. Off with the 16 inch bucket and on with the trencher bucket. I decided I would try to dig between the rock and the fence, which is my preferred route for the pipe, working my way around to the location for the new pool house. So far the trenching has gone well. The design of the B-expanded trenching bucket really helps. It has cutaway curved sides to help with dumping excavated material. Without this it would be much more likely to get packed with dirt or clay that would get stuck in the bucket.
this is really encouraging. I see I can get plenty deep enough for a water pipe here in the south. And I've gotten past that rock. So I'm hoping I don't encounter another rock a little further down. Next, I swap out the trencher bucket for the B-expanded backhoe ripper, hoping to minimize the trauma to the roots of a maple tree I want to keep. Also, I try to stay as far from the tree trunk as practical. I'm not sure I'm avoiding much drama to the roots here. Looks pretty traumatic to me. I hear the sound of metal on rock near the valve box. I hope the rocks aren't too big. Now that I've ripped the roots from around the maple tree, it's time to change from the ripper back to the trenching bucket. Quick and easy. Turns out there are a lot of rocks here, but they aren't very big and pluck out of the ground easily. After finishing digging toward the valve box, I continue trenching from the big rock toward the area where the new pool house will be.
what I've gotten done for the day, which is almost there, but unfortunately including, I think, tearing up the pipe. Let me show you what we got. Plenty deep the whole way. I was able to swing over here and hug the fence as much as possible once I got past that maple tree. I did dig out a little right here and came across some rock right here by this old stump. Managed to make it through the roots and I'm almost where I need to be. We'll finish this up tomorrow. Stay tuned for part two where I finish trenching to the valve box, then decide to rebuild the innards of the valve box before running the pipe in the trench and covering it up. If you enjoy these videos, please help me keep them coming by clicking the like button, commenting below, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.